Hey guys, guess who's back with an eyeliner review? Do you remember when my channel was like primarily eyeliner and mascara reviews? Because being a monolith is hard. It has been so long since I've done one of these and I'm excited. You know, what I think what happened was, no, actually, I know what happened. I finally found a liner and mascara that I love and works for me and so then I just stopped trying new things for a while. My current favorite, holy grail can't live without an eyeliner is Smashbox Limitless Liquid Liner Pen in Jet Black. And if you've been with me, this probably won't surprise you, Maybelline's The Falsies is my jam mascara and has been for years and years. But anyways, let's get into what I am here to do. Months ago, the amazing Angela Minji Kim and I exchanged favorite eyeliners for each other to try. Links to those videos will be in the info box, of course. And she said, me this amazing Sephora favorites draw the line a box of a bunch of different eyeliners her favorites were Marc Jacobs and Kat Von D's I'm gonna be honest with you I still haven't tried half of these but I did try the one she wanted me to Kat Von D Marc Jacobs and I tried the Sephora one and today I am going to review Marc Jacobs and Sephora I wanted to review these ones together because to me they were really similar and I've used these two the most all right starting with mr. Marc Jacobs this this is a gel crayon liner, which I'd never heard of that existing before. For the longest time, gel liner, like in a pot, was the best thing I could ever find until I moved on to liquid liners, which now I'm like, how did I ever live without them? So going to what I thought was kind of back and trying a pencil crayon liner was like, what? I don't have much faith in this. Like, I guess I'll try it. Uh... Amazing. I can totally see why this is one of Angela's favorites. Keep in mind, this is just a sample size. This is not the actual size of it. It's kind of dirty. Sorry about that. But it's one of those ones where you twist the bottom and it winds up. I'll do a little swatch for you. What really wowed me about this is it comes in a pencil form, but it feels like a gel. It applies with the ease of a pencil, like you can get it exactly where you want. You don't have to worry about a brush. But again, when it's on, it's like a gel consistency. Smooth, creamy, solid looking. If you are a pencil liner person, I would highly recommend trying a gel crayon like this. I feel like it takes it to the next level. What I didn't like is it's it's not as long wearing as a liquid. Not surprising because if you've used liquid liners and then other liners like just liquid liners stay. I wore this for a full day and there was definitely some wear and some fade and my biggest issue was it smudged. I had some transfer happen like down in the inner corner area which it wasn't the end of the world just kind of bummed me out. I think typically with liners like this though that happens because you want them to be smudgeable. If you're trying to do this awesome smoky eye with your liner something like this would be amazing. Again it goes on easy, it goes on solid, Honestly, personally, I probably will not repurchase this one in particular, but it has inspired me to look into other gel crayon liners. I'm glad I was introduced to it. Now, for Sephora's Contour Eye Pencil 12 Hour Wear in Black Lace. This is just a crayon, not a fancy gel crayon like Marc Jacobs. Dang, do you see how dark that goes on? I love this. I had to go buy a sharpener because it's a classic pencil that needs to be sharpened and I was like, what a pain in the butt. Totally worth it. This is like, whoa, I already know I'm gonna be going to Sephora and buying one of these. This glides on like you would not believe. So smooth. And since you can sharpen it, you can get a really exact line. Now, 12 hours is a good title for it because just like the Marc Jacobs one, it is not an all day wearing type thing, but it doesn't claim to be, and I like that. It does do some smudging and some fading, just like I said, just like I feel all crayon and pencil liners will do, but I loved the consistency of this, which is weird to say about a pencil liner. It almost kind of goes on like a liquid with that ease but with the control of not being liquidy and wet. If you are a pencil crayon person, try this. It's not like the drugstore ones I grew up using where you kind of have to like pull your eye to get it really where you want it to go. You don't even have to do that. It just 
goes on. And while I don't wear this anymore on its own just because of the transfer that happens at the end of the day, I do still use this every day. This is now what I put on over my liquid liner because I don't like that liquid liner is shiny and reflective. It makes my eyes look weird. I prefer when my liner looks matte and this does it. And since I'm only putting it like top part of my liner, not down in the corner or in the lash line. There is no smearing or transfer. If any of you have tried either of these, please let me know your thoughts and experiences. I'm curious if they do last longer or all day on someone who isn't a monolid. I always wonder that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I have really enjoyed doing a liner review again. It feels right and it feels like home. <laughs> you guys rock. Talk to you later. Peace!